amid continuing threats of a regional war with Iran or an expanded war with Hezbollah in Lebanon, IDF Chief of Staff Herzia Levy held key talks with visiting U.S. Commander of the Joint Chiefs, General Charles Brown. The two military leaders met in the IDF Northern Command, where Halevi said they discussed operational cooperation in the face of challenges and threats in the Middle East. Israel is strong and defends itself on its own, said Halevi, but it is always good to have a strong ally by our side who shares common values and interests with us. The IDF chief said that the 11 months of cross-border exchanges were unacceptable and also that the army had the duty to return displaced residents of northern Israel to their homes as quickly as possible. Defense Minister Gallant met Brown and exited saying that Iranian aggression has reached an all-time high and Israel and the U.S. needed to advance joint capabilities for all theaters of the war. Before leaving Israel, Brown was asked by Reuters if the immediate risk of a regional war had declined. Brown said somewhat yes. According to the U.S. military chief, there were two things that had to happen. One has already happened. Now it depends on how the second is going to play out. Mediators at the ceasefire talks in Cairo are reportedly setting aside the thorny issue of full Israeli withdrawal from Gaza and are focusing on other matters in the hostage for ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas. American mediators reportedly hope to reach agreement on other matters first, including Israel's ability to veto the release of some Palestinian prisoners under the deal and how many living hostages Israel will get back during its six-week first phase. According to reports, some progress has been made on these issues. The issue of Israeli presence on the Philadelphia corridor on the Gaza-Egypt border and the Netzarim corridor in central Gaza will be left to the very end of the talks, the report says. In Samaria, the IDF carried out a drone strike in the Tulkarim suburb of Nur Shams. Five terrorists were reportedly killed when the drone strike targeted a command room belonging to local terror operatives. Among the dead was Jibril Jibril a Hamas member who was released from Israeli prison last November in the hostage for prisoner exchange. Jibril was previously jailed for hurling explosive devices. Last night, IDF troops also carried out searches near the Tapuach Junction in Samaria after reports of a suspected kidnapping, which turned out to be false. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.